I'm Isaac and I'm participating for Germany in the Eurovision 2024 and my song is always on the run. Does it have a special meaning to you? Yeah, absolutely. The most special thing about it, I think, is the very first sentence where I say, I am nothing but the average, because everyone is average, and but it's, it's okay to be average, because everyone is, and um, everyone is special to some, and not to everyone, but that's totally fine. Yes, yeah, people put pressures on themselves to, to be something that stands out. Did you feel like that, and do you, are you comfortable in your own skin now? Do you feel you found your place? I found my place, absolutely. I mean, I just think about interviews with, with people who climbed like the biggest mountain, like the Mount Everest, and they, they got interviewed and asked, what, what was the first feeling when, when you reached the top of the Mount Everest? And I remember one, one guy saying, it was terrible and I just wanted to go down as soon as possible. I hated it. Or some people would say, I want to climb the, the next highest mountain. Yeah, but there, there isn't any. So I don't, I don't think you want to reach like the highest top of it. You just, you just want to go further and further and further. Well, you performed in simple locations before, and now you're going to perform in a huge one. Have you mentally made the transition from the busking to the national final, which is quite a big show, and now to Eurovision? Has that been a, an... A, an an education to you? Yeah, it has been absolutely. It has been. I mean, it was. It wasn't that that I was just busking, and then in the next moment, I've been part of the Eurovision Song Contest. There has been. This is like, like an overnight success that takes ten years. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I started busking when I was twelve years old, and this is right now seventeen years ago, and uh, I was playing stages bigger and bigger and bigger. And um, I've already been on some bigger stages, um, but for sure this is the absolute top of it for now. For now, I don't know, I don't think there is any bigger, but for now this is my biggest stage. A little birdie told me the fact that you, when you're making the video for your song, you had to do it very quickly and it wasn't, uh, the concept was already there. Tell me about that story. The video, yeah, you know, we just, we plan to release the song if we're going to be part of the Eurovision or not. And um, we didn't plan to do a music video. Um, and then we got the message two days before Christmas that I'm going to be part of the German final show and that we need a music video until January the 6th or 9th or something like that. And we were like, it's Christmas right now. And then it's going to be New Year. And now we need to find someone who is going to be able to work with us and to do like a music video from the 4th to the 6th. I think singing in English is very important because German is not exactly the most loving language. Yeah, I don't, I don't love it either. I, don't, I, don't, I absolutely don't like... German music, except for rap music. I love German rap music. I'm a huge fan. I'll have to have a listen to some of that. <laughs> listen, thank you, Isaac, very much for your time. It's a huge endeavor you're doing, and you look as if you're quite, what, childish about it. <laughs> yeah, I hope to. I I'm trying to. I'm just trying to. Okay. Vielen Dank, Alice. Vielen Dank. Sehr, sehr gerne. Danke dir.